everybody, it's Daryl, and today I'm going to show you all how you can start getting more traffic to your website and more visitors at a relatively very cheap cost. And if you're brand new to marketing, you're brand new to advertising and all that stuff, uh, don't worry because this platform is very user friendly. It's great for beginners. So I'm going to take you to a website called reddit.com. If you've never heard of reddit.com, they're probably one of the largest social networking sites on the internet. And this is an example of what your dashboard would look like. So for example, I spent around $5, I got around 27,000 impressions, and uh, I got around 49 clicks, and I got around 11 cents per click, which is uh, very cheap, doesn't really cost a lot. And in fact, Reddit is actually growing in popularity. They are actually more popular now than eBay. So this is reddit.com, the statistics, you know, they're ranked uh, 13 in the world. Actually, that's a little old. They're actually ranked number eight now, and they receive around 1.3 billion visitors a month eBay, on the other hand, receives only around 1.2 billion. So that being said, you can sort of see how Reddit is sort of surpassing a lot of other websites. In fact, Reddit is now actually based number eight because they just took eBay spot. So they're better than LinkedIn. They have more traffic than Craigslist, uh, Live.com, Instagram, Pinterest, ESPN. It's actually a very powerful website now. So if you're not advertising on Reddit, I would give it a try because that is where a large majority of people are on the internet these days. So that being said, let's go ahead and go to reddit.com and I'll show you how you can start doing your own uh, marketing campaign. It's very simple. You can start with just as little as $5 just to get your feet wet, you know? So basically you're first gonna wanna make an account. So I'm going to log out over here and you're gonna wanna create a brand new account and you don't have to you know, spend money right away. You can just spend a little bit, you know, like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever you're comfortable with because uh, I know people are very, um, what's the word? They're very, like they don't like advertising on the internet <laughs> they really don't you know I, I work with a lot of clients and they don't want to ever spend a dollar on anything on the internet and i'm just like oh my god how do you expect people to find your website right so uh go ahead and go to sign up and you can simply create a new account right here it's very simple i'm actually going to just put in my um you know my credentials right here and i'll show you how you can start your first campaign it's relatively very easy it's not difficult um, the first thing you want to do is go to advertising up here, but if that's not open for you, just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see advertise. Just like that. And right here where it says create an ad, just click on create an ad. All right. And there's a lot of pros uh, to advertising on Reddit because you can actually target subreddits, which I will get to in a little bit and explain what subreddits are. So right now you want to do your pictures right here. So this website actually recommends some, you know, kind of some, some weird sizing for pixels, but I have a website that you can go to fix this. So let's say you have an image, right? Um, I'm going to go to pickmonkey.com, and this right here, you can resize your, uh, your images. So for example, right here, it says it wants it uh, 70 by 70, right? Now you probably don't have a picture that is 70 by 70, right? So uh, if you go to pickmonkey.com, scroll down to edit a photo and this is a free service it doesn't cost you anything to do this uh, just go ahead over here and click on open and go to my computer and go ahead and just find a random image find something so i'm gonna go ahead and do uh i'll just do the divi logo something like this all right and now all you need to do is go to resize check this box that says keep proportions and then just do 70 by 70 just like that and there you go. Now you can use this as your thumbnail for your uh, marketing campaign on Reddit. So I'm gonna click on apply and uh, you click on save up here and just go to save to my computer. And I'm going to do, uh, actually make sure, I'm gonna cancel this, make sure that it's under a JPEG format, JPEG format, not a PNG. PNG files are a little bit larger, so some people might not accept it. So after that, I'm just gonna click on save to my computer and I'm gonna put this probably on my desktop and put DV icon, DV icon, just like that, and click on save. So right now I can put that thumbnail right here on my promotion. And remember, we can do the same thing right here uh, for the other ad. So remember, it says it should be exactly 1200 by 628 pixels. So for your next picture, just make sure that you have it right here under the resize under that same exact uh, size so that we can accommodate it for Reddit. All right, so for example, thumbnail, I'm gonna click on select and go to DV icon and click on open. All right, so there it is. So it's pretty simple to use. Now a title. So 
a good title is important to the success of your campaign. It is very true because remember, we are actually marketing by impressions. So that means every 1000 impressions, you're going to get charged no matter what. So if you get clicks in that time, it doesn't really matter because we're being charged for impressions. So we want to make sure the campaign is as good as it looks so people will click on it because the more people that click on it, it'll actually charge us less. So it'll be a less cost per click because we're not paying for cost per click. We're paying for cost for impressions. You understand? So right here, we're going to do... Um, so I'm actually going to uh, pretend that I am um, advertising my WordPress videos. So how to make a WordPress website. Just like that, okay? And for here, for post type, so the difference is a link is going to take them to your URL. You're probably going to want to do this uh, post type. So basically, if you want them to go to your website, you would put in your website right here. So www. You know, I'll put in my website, darylwilson.com. So I would personally recommend doing this if you're trying to advertise your website. The other method is for a text. So basically, if they click on this, it's going to take them to this text area and you're going to put whatever you want them to read or not. Now, I don't really understand the full reason why you would want to do that, but there are something like maybe use a coupon code or use something on this website or something. But for most people, I would probably just stick with the link. OK, now you can actually disable comments. Um, maybe people might, you know, say something bad about you. I don't know, but I would leave it open because if they have questions about your ad or about your store, they're going to put them in the comment section and you want to be able to answer those questions, right? So after you've uh, set up all this information right here, uh, go ahead and put in your mobile ad image, but I'm actually going to not recommend mobile and I'll get to that in the next chapter or on the next page right here. So I'm going to click on next. All right, so this is the part where our campaign dashboard. So this is basically where we need to start doing some research, but it's very easy. So the first thing we have is target. Now there are collections. So for example, it's basically like categories. So let's just say you're into the food industry. Maybe you'd want to put it under food and drink. You know, if you're in the entertainment industry, maybe you'd want to put it under entertainment. But I want to, uh, I want to help you think about this because remember, we're paying for impressions. So if you advertise on Reddit's front page, guess what? Every single person that comes to Reddit will see your ad. And as a result, it's going to be a lot of impressions and maybe not really good quality clicks because maybe you're advertising something like creatine pills for working out. Uh, maybe half the people on Reddit don't even care about that. But you can do something like, um, uh, let's see, for sports and fitness. That would be much more ideal for you to advertise in the sports and fitness category rather than advertising on the front page. Now, if you just want to do like a branding campaign where you just want people to see your logo, Reddit's front page might be a good idea. But let's just say, for example, uh, I am doing WordPress tutorials where I want to show people how to build a website. I'm gonna probably gonna go to technology, but there is an also thing right here where it says subreddits. And this I actually like more than collections. So subreddits are basically like secondary topics. So for example, a subreddit. Go ahead and type in your interest. So I'm going to type in WordPress and see what comes up. WordPress. There you go. So I have WordPress, WordPress themes, WordPress plugins, all sorts of stuff that I can actually advertise my uh, niche in, uh, in Reddit. Now, I think this is better to actually market to WordPress tutorials and WordPress, WordPress themes, WordPress plugins than actually just going to technology because technology might be a lot of different things. It might be talking about PlayStation. It might be talking about things that are not relevant to WordPress yet have a niche in technology. So the great part about advertising on Reddit is that you can sort of narrow down your search to really get into people who are interested in your product. Now, I did bring up the fact of creatine pills. Maybe we can find something that, that deals with bodybuilding, you know, body. There it is. Bodybuilding. So, for example, if you're a store that sells vitamins and creatine and all sorts of those workout supplements, bodybuilding would probably be a very good subreddit for you. So this is sort of where you're going to do research to find out what subreddit or what basically uh, category you think your website would be under. Now, the next one is location. Um, I don't mean to sound discriminatory, guys, but uh, most people in the world advertise to people in the United States. And the reason why is because people in the United States generally have the highest conversion rates compared to most countries. They have the most money compared to most countries. So they spend more compared to most countries. And that's just basically the alternative and ideal with it. 
Uh, I, I don't mean to sound uh, messed up in any way, but I do do a lot of digital marketing and even the cost per click costs more in the United States because companies like Google and Facebook know that those clicks are worth more than a click in Bolivia, right? So they're kind of saying, all right, you want to advertise in the United States? Go ahead, but we're going to charge you more because we know that those people will pay more uh, for their products. Now, uh, I'm going to put the United States right here and go to, uh, you know, I'm just going to do all. But you can actually go by, uh, you know, California. You can market to a certain city, etc. But uh, for my campaign, I'm going to probably just, you know, do United States. But let's just say you're a store um, in Pasadena. So I live in Pasadena. So I'm going to do Los Angeles. So now I have like, uh, you know, let's just say you are into the bodybuilding creatine thing and you have a store in uh, Pasadena, California. That would be an ideal uh, situation for you where you can uh, market by location. Now, platform, I always don't recommend mobile. I think mobile are lower quality clicks. I think they're lower quality audiences because a lot of them are people at work. A lot of them are people at their friend's house. A lot of them are people doing something where they're not really, where they don't have a lot of time to do something. But somebody on their desktop, somebody at work, might have the time to buy something. They might have the time to actually look around and see what your website has to offer. So I personally recommend desktop only, but uh, that being said, there are a lot of other reasons why you would want to market to mobile. So um, you can probably run run campaign for mobile and run another campaign for desktop only to see the difference between both. Because remember, I just don't think people on a mobile device would have enough time to watch my WordPress tutorials because they're two hours long, right? So in this, in this situation, I just want people who are only on the desktop. Now right here, you can set your budget and we can actually rotate it by at least seven days, etc. So let's just say um, my total budget is $20. I don't wanna spend more than $20. So your daily spend will not be more than $2.86. How long do you want this to run for? So right here, we have, it'll start on October 1st and it'll end on the 8th. So around seven days. So at this rate, I'd be spending $2.86 um, per day. Now, let's just say we don't spend our budget. Reddit will actually automatically extend it again until the rest of the budget exceeds itself. So if we're just not getting the impressions we're trying to get, if we're not getting uh, what we want, we can actually just check that and that will make it so it'll say, look, we will make sure you spend the $20. So it will just keep running it until it, it spends it. Now you can also do deliver as fast as possible, but uh, not unless you know, you're really in a hurry, you know, I would just leave that blank. So I would just, you know, either way, you're gonna spend the money. Either way, it's gonna be spent. So uh, I would just leave it as, you know, a seven day duration. Now pricing. So set how much you're willing to pay for a thousand impressions. So you can put probably a dollar or two dollars. It depends on your niche, guys. This is where uh, you sort of have to do some trial and error because for example, let's say you're selling dog products. You know, that might cost around, you know, two dollars per thousand impressions. Now let's say you're doing technology. Technology might cost more, but I don't really know because I'm not in that niche. So there's other niches like, um, you know, like uh, sewing. I'm sure sewing is a very, very low CPM, but you can just start off at a dollar. Just say, I'm willing to spend a dollar for every 1,000 impressions. So what that basically means is your ad will be seen 1,000 times for $1. That is what it means. So it's pretty cheap, you can see. It doesn't really spend a lot of money uh, for the impressions. So after that, you're going to um, you know, create and confirm. Um, I think everything else we covered right here. You don't have any campaign for this link yet. Did I put a campaign? You don't have any campaigns for this link yet. You should add one. All right, well, other than that, uh, I'm probably going to um, See, I have to go back, I think. I think I did not add in a campaign or my link. Um, let's see right here. So I did my subreddits. I did, oh, WordPress. I'll do WordPress. And then I'll do my location, United States, platform, etc. I'm probably gonna spend $20, just like that. And uh, we'll just do a create and close. So we'll go ahead and create this campaign. All right. so. Uh, it has created, it has created successfully. So I'm basically saying my total budget is $20. I'm going to spend uh, $1 for every 1,000. And right now I spent nothing. So it does take time to get approved. 
it does take time to um, you know find out but you need to actually uh, pay it right now so under this little icon you got to click on pay and this happened to me because my, my campaign wasn't running and I'm like why isn't it running why isn't it running you know it's been up for three days it's not been approved they emailed me and they said you never you never paid <laughs> so I said okay okay so you have to pay first so and then you do get refunds so let's just say you're running it and you just feel that your campaign is just not really going too well um, you know you can cancel it and they'll give your money back so after you do this, after you authorize your payment, it will be pending for maybe two, three days. So after that, um, it'll just be pending and then you'll get an email and then your campaign will start to run. Now you'll be brought to something that looks like this. So this is your dashboard. So this is something that you know uh, gives you an idea uh, of what you're going to see. So for example, my budget was $5. I spent a little over $5 and that's just because sometimes you'll spend a little bit over or a little bit less. It just really depends because they're on a big algorithm. They're not really, you know, there's robots doing these things. It's not actual people. So um, I got around 27,000 impressions. Uh, I spent I spent around 20 cents for every thousand. Uh, yeah, 20 cents for every 1,000. And I got around 49 clicks. So um, another thing is, that is actually a really bad click-through rate. And that's because I actually decided to uh, market on the front page. So remember, I personally think front page has very, very low quality because just look at this. You know, this is actually a pretty cool ad. Learn how to create your own Pokemon website. And we have this cool picture of Pokemon. But it looks like right here, you know, 9,000 people saw this and only 16 clicked on it. So that's a pretty bad impression rate, you know. But uh, Reddit does know this. So the CPM is very low for the front page. But, um, you know, if you want a guaranteed way of people seeing your ad, you know, try the front page. If not, you can, you know, try other uh, subreddits or you can try other categories. But, um, you know, just pick your niche and find out what is doing best for you. So right here, like I said, I spent this much. Impressions, remember, if you're brand new, impressions are how many times somebody saw your ad. The CPM is the cost per thousands. The clicks, how many people clicked. The click the rate percentage. And the CPC is your cost per click. Okay, so I think that's it guys. So if you guys have any other questions about Reddit or if you want to advertise your website under different ways, I do have tons of other videos about Facebook advertising, about websites to sell on. So be sure to check those out. Go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe and I will see you all later.